feel it. I feel the presence, the power. I feel God moving. You've been holding your destiny back and your purpose has not been realized because you've had the wrong attitude. Jesus was attracted to you because he saw his purpose that he put in your life. Praise the Lord, my sisters and brothers. Praise God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Yes, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I am rejoicing and glad to be in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I am rejoicing and glad to be in it. Yes, God is good, and he is greatly to be praised. The re I am among the redeemed, and I say so. Well, good morning. This is Pastor Robert Garner of the Word of Truth Church, uh, located at 7107 Rivard Avenue in Warren, Michigan, uh, zip there's 48091. It is good to come to you each Tuesday morning, live and direct from the studios of TV 33 WHBR uh, television here in and the Detroit metropolitan area in Highland Park, Detroit, and other areas. Those of you that get us each Tuesday morning and sometime on a rebroadcast, I want to thank you for listening and watching and responding. It's just good to hear from you. It's good to know that God is saying something to you and you receive it. And it becomes a blessing in your life, something that you can walk in, talk in, live in, and be appreciative that you are in. Amen. Well, you know the author and finisher of our faith. My faith is Jesus Christ. That's who I'm lifting up. For the Bible said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. And I believe that that's the core of our problem today is that we are not lifting Jesus and keeping him in his rightful place. I'm going to be sharing with you today in the telecast as we move forward, um, and I want you to get your Bible and turn to Matthew, um, the 18th chapter, and uh, we're going to be talking, <coughs> excuse me, as you know, the weather is sort of changing, and this is this is live uh, this is live TV. So, um, you know, things happen. So I'm I'm the weather is sort of uh, on the downside here a little bit. Been raining and a little bit uh, vacillating from warm to cold, cold to warm, humidity, and you're trying to adjust to it all. Sometimes it affects you in ways that you appreciate it <laughs> that it wouldn't. <coughs> so, excuse me this morning. Uh, but I want you to turn to Matthew, the 18th chapter, and we're going to be talking about coming into agreement with God. What does this really mean, coming in agreement with God? The Bible said where two or three are gathered. He said where two touch and agree on anything. But what is the overriding effect of your agreement? Your agreement has to be with God because the things that we're agreeing upon are the things that God uh, can uh, endorse. God is something that God is, uh, can back you up on. So we're going to be talking about that, amen, and what really does it mean to come into agreement. I know that, you know, there's so much going on in our social and political environments that it's almost, um, you know, it'll take a whole show to just even talk about it. But uh, you know what's going on, and I trust that you're praying. Uh, we're yet trying to uh, confirm and uh, get through this uh nominee for the Supreme Court. Maybe some of you have some comments on that. 
we're yet uh, dealing with this, uh, I call it an epidemic, uh, but it may not be that. But when you hear every morning you wake up, someone has gotten killed, someone has gotten destroyed, or someone is destroyed because of uh, bullets uh, being shot by someone, whether it's a family member, someone trying to rob uh, some place or something. And this is consistent. And we hear this all the time. So there is a, there is a problem somewhere. Amen. We can quote the statistics, and statistics are good, but they're yet that families are being um, uh, taken from each other, and homes and, and various uh, communities are being destroyed because of, of these concerns. So, you know, that's, that's out there, and uh, other issues that you have heard on the news, and we just have to become more uh, cognitive of our surroundings and become more vigilant in what we're doing. So I know uh, that we're facing a great political year, and I, I really don't see this too much different than any other political year, because any time you, you're voting, you're voting for change, you're voting for that which you think that is best for your community, uh, for your state, uh, or for your government. And that is the issue. That's what we deal with all the time when we go into voting. Sometime emphasis or place greater up on it because of who we're trying to defeat and who we're trying to get in or who we're trying to get out and those kind of things. And sometimes we can uh, get too much caught up in, these, uh, in certain aspects of that and we lose. Uh, like some of you believe that that's what happened in the last presidential election. So now we're faced with the midterm. So my encouragement to you today is to register. Register so you'll be eligible to vote because if you are not voting, I mean, it really is not going to matter that much anyway. Uh, we certainly have some things that are going on and around the city of Detroit and as well as in our state that we want to attend to. So this is, I believe that this is, this brings my uh, subject this morning uh, a little bit in sync, uh, more in sync when we talk about agreement with God. When we vote, do we seek God's direction? Do we look at candidates from the perspective of what they are standing for? Is that candidate holding on to something or endorsing something that I can agree with? Uh, what is their uh, political uh, uh, background? What are they endorsing? What do you feel that they're going to do? And I think that, you know, like they look at the Supreme Court, uh, you know, I hear this Roe versus Wade as one of the biggest issues that people are concerned with. Uh, and that's, uh, you know, but you have to look into that, but yet there are other concerns as well. Um, and sometimes we put too much uh, authority and power in one individual or a group of individuals. So I, I think that as we look at this this morning, as we talk about a man agreement uh, with God, we're coming into agreement with God, Amen. And and this is what uh, I, I think that when we do this, it changes our consciousness, it changes our thoughts, it changes our processes of things. When we talk about coming into agreement with God, what 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 does God want out of this? Uh, what God would God be appreciated uh, more if if this person or, or that person was in office and those kind of things. So my sister and brother, we're going to get, we're going to get to that this morning. Uh, my um, uh, friend and, and minister Rosetta, she's uh, was running a little bit late this morning. She got caught up in traffic, but I see her coming into the studio now and I just want uh, the engineer to sort of get her situated so she can come on over here with me and, uh, um, and and we can do our thing this morning because I want uh, to talk about I don't know whether he needs to take a break, but if he needs to do something, I want him to do it so that she can come on here with me. This is Pastor Robert Garner of the Word of Truth Church. And again, we're located at 7107 Rivard Avenue, Warren, Michigan, 48091. I do invite you to come and fellowship with us. We are there each Sunday morning. Well, we're there doing midweek service, our Bible studies on Wednesday night. And, of course, we're praying today 
Amen. We're praying today at 11 a.m. I want you, amen, to uh, call if you would like to have prayer. I want you to call. There's a number that's going to be on the screen for you to do that. So I want you to call, amen, and uh, let us do this. So we're going to take just about a minute or so here and get situated. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel the presence, the power. I feel God moving. has not been realized because you've had the wrong attitude. Jesus was attracted to you because he saw his purpose that he put in your life. And he came along to save you, to liberate you, bring you out so his purpose can be activated in your life. Right, we're back. We're back live and in living color here at uh, Studio uh, Television 33 WHBR.com with Pastor Robert Garner with The Truth That Make You Free. And certainly I am glad to be here again. And as I said before, I said again, this is the day that the Lord has made. And yes, I am rejoicing and glad to, to be in it. Yes, and again, we're going to be talking as we move forward. Uh, I want you to turn to Matthew, the 18th chapter. And we specifically, I think it's, it's sort of, I think it's 18, the 19th verse, or 19th and 20th verse that we're going to, we, I'm going to read into. You know, I always like to read a word into your spirit so that you can have something to back, uh, fall back on as you move through today. But today, again, we're going to be talking about coming into agreement with God. So have you ever thought about that? So many times we're doing things, we're saying things, we're planning things, and, and after we do it, uh, we say, God bless this, or God bless that. But have you ever thought that if I would just go to God first and seek him and see what his direction is and see what his plan is for his creation? After all, he did create the world. He, he should know how he wants it to operate. He should know what he wants to do in such times as these. So I, I want you to give him a chance. Coming into agreement with God uh, and uh, we see this even when it talks about healings, when God uh, spat up on the uh, ground, took the clay and, and told the man to go put it over his eyes and told him to go wash. And he had to come into agreement with God in order for it to work because God said, I want you to go wash and then come back seeing. We see other instances where they met the man at the pool of Bethesda. And the man uh, had been there for 38 years uh, that we had noted of. And uh, God asked him, will thou be made whole? He had to come into agreement with God because, as you recall, that the man was talking, getting ready to get into a conversation of doubt and, and, uh, and, and why this hadn't happened. Jesus said, all right, let's cut through the chase. Will thou be made whole? Amen. He had to come into agreement with God. And my sisters and brothers, your future, your life, your healing, your deliverance, and whatever else that you are seeking today would work better, and you'll be able to get a, 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 a quicker response and a more sincere response if you would just come into agreement with God. So we're going to be talking about this as we move forward this morning. But again, I'm always happy to have my friend here with me as she comes each Tuesday morning, and, and we sit together, and we just do this thing together. Minister Rosetta Archer. God Amen. bless you. Good morning. Thank you. And I'm glad that you made it safe. So am I. Amen. Glory glad that God. you made it Hallelujah. safe because, I mean, you know, I, I don't know, maybe in the wintertime or fall of the year, we have more people driving 
than we do in the summertime. You know, people catch buses, use their bicycles and other means of transportation to get what they want. But I noticed that there's an unusual amount of traffic wow. on the road, uh, the highways uh, uh, at this particular time in right. the morning. Oh, my goodness. So yes. it's, it's just good. Amen. Praise and Lord. glad to see you and glad that you made it. Amen. All so right. Oh my God, how was, good how was your weekend? It was and is so your testimony wonderful. still True. Man, I tell you. They you have haven't some, lost it. They have some glue. It's called Gorilla Glue. Uh, all right. All and, right. And that just means it's like the strongest as you can get. You put that on there, <laughs> nothing is going to lose that grip. I'm telling you. Uh, nothing is going to lose the yeah. grip. I'm just blessed, and God is just faithful. Yeah. And uh, actually, I uh, was out of town for the weekend. Praise God. And uh, Amen. oh, my God. And God just opened a tremendous door for me just yesterday. He's just doing what he does. Amen. Amen. Praise and, God. Uh, I was uh, helping someone with the asked me to come and help them with a music video. Okay, so, okay. Uh, it was so much fun. And, Amen. Uh, it's an oh, I forgot that's song. another part of your ministry that we don't talk about. Amen. Your psalmist praise and God. your praise and worship leader Amen. and all of those good things. Just, Lord just, just God. God, just full of God all just over. Praise you God. know, Amen. I had the opportunity to minister over the weekend as well. Uh, Amen. Uh, I was at Open Door Church on yesterday Ooh, afternoon. Amen. And uh, in fact, uh, Pastor Alan Evans uh, of God. Open Door Church of God in Christ uh, over there on the East Seven Mile. He just moved into a new facility, awesome. expanding his ministry. That's beautiful. And I love things like that. Yes, I love to Glory go to, to progress. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. That's a, that a preach I mean, right there. I mean, Amen. but if I keep coming to Woo, you Jesus. year in and year out, yes. and you're still in that same box, My Lord and Jesus. you're not doing anything to the box, wow. decorate the box, clean the box <laughs> up, or do something to the box, amen, just don't let it just be a box. Don't let it just be amen. a box. Glory to God. Even even, you know, we have to, it's so, but when I see, I love going to Praise progress God. and yes. sowing seeds Amen. into progressive God. leadership and ministry. Amen. And uh, he certainly has done a great job That's and doing beautiful. a great job and continue here and his wife, Sister Shanetta. I enjoy it. If there was anyone watching us today, I give you a shout out Amen. and let you know that I certainly enjoy the word of truth and I, we, we were just glad to be there. Praise God. Amen. Yesterday. Amen. And God just blessed us. That's Amen. Uh, and we talked on the message there, God himself. Mm, mm, Amen. Mm. Every you, everything you see is God himself. God himself. Glory to he God. He comes down himself. Wow. You know, and I find that's, that's true. You know, sometimes we talk about the, mm, the, the mm, angels mm. and what Jesus, the angels yes. do. Uh, the angels encamped around me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, he sent an angel. But there are certain things yes. or certain times in our lives mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. God comes <laughs> himself. That's good. Amen. Right there. The That's very good stuff. presence yes. of the omnipotence. Ooh, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. This is a job for the omnipotence. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't, don't <laughs> send me no angel. Woo. Don't send me this. Don't send me no prayer warrior. I need something greater Jesus. than this. Glory to so God. We, we, we talked about Amen. that. God God, Woo, amen, himself. Right so he, he blessed us tremendously, that's and we're just excited about it. Amen. And you had an opportunity to yes. minister and to share it and, was a blessing. and, and it the was. music ministry. Amen. God, well, praise God. And you know amen. what I just want to say, too, and you mentioned, yes. you know, you said that about enjoying going places and seeing the progress. Yes. Amen. Yes. And I just want to say thank you. And I know that there are so many ministers out there that could testify. And if you all want to uh -huh. call in and just give a shout out to Dr. Garner. Oh, But wow. I love yes. the way you support mm -hmm. other ministers. Thank you. You know, thank you have you. so many people. Everybody's grabbing for themselves. Yes. You know, yes. I, well, I can't help you because you might get more members than I do or that. Just all this just things that should not be in the body of Christ. Amen. But you have always been so supportive. I love the way it doesn't matter whether you've got 20 members Amen. or 20,000. Amen. You are the same. Thank and you. your support is the same. And I've just watched you over the years support so many ministries. And I've heard so many testimonies from so many men and women of God of how you help them, how you've paid off, uh, help pay off mortgages, how you've paid uh, electric bills and not to mention you buying houses and putting people in it but just for the ministry gifts you have always blessed the ministry gifts and I know for a fact that one of the reasons why you're so blessed mm -hmm. one of the reasons why your ministry is blessed your church beautiful paid off and full mm -hmm. and is because of the seeds you sow in so many others lives never asking for something in return well you know I think in terms what God told Abraham he said, in blessings, 
I will bless you. I will you. bless you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. He said, and then what that in terms mean, I'm going to make you to be a blessing. Yes. Glory to God. So Hallelujah. I don't want to stop him making me yes, a blessing my God. to be a blessing. That's so good. So, That's good. so I'm in agreement with God. Praise God. Amen. You know, I'm in agreement with God. And, and you know, one of the scriptures that really uh, just really broke through, mm -hmm. uh, I've always uh, prided myself in being a giver and yes. a supporter. Amen. But when I read about Isaac mm. in the year of famine. In the year of famine. Glory to God. He sold he into sold the land Jesus. of Abimelech. Hallelujah. Yes, he did. And Glory God, to God blessed him. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. God gave him a hundredfold yes. on what he gave yes. that year, My and God. God blessed him. He blessed him. Glory to if God. If you come in, now that's that Jesus. we, you see, now you messing oh, up. I'm just saying. When you bring Woo. your life in Jesus. agreement with Woo. God, My minister. God. I, I feel it, as you say. I feel that thing. <laughs> the blessing comes. Yes, it does. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I could Woo. do, I could have done just like the Hallelujah. man did, and sometime I think in terms of, I said, oh, my God, if I had everything that I've given away, <laughs> I could tear down the one barn and build another barn well, and amen. build another and yes. sit down and be eased. But my that's Lord not Jesus. what God wants. That's not, that's amen. Not so I, I, I reckon yes. what God told Abraham Hallelujah. and how God did Isaac mm -hmm. when he sold at a time of famine. Yes, glory amen. to God. A Hallelujah. time of great need when he could sit back and say, I need this myself. My Lord I'm Jesus. not going to take no risk. Yes. I'm going to hold on to what I mm. know I have. Mm, mm, you know, like mm, some mm. folks said, a bird in the hand is worth two yes. in the bush. <laughs> I never agree with Monahan on that one. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. So uh, oh. I, 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 if Thank you do you that, Jesus. then there's never an investment. My God. So Thank when you, you sow, you're yes. coming in agreement Amen. with Woo, God. That's good stuff right when there. When we pay our tithes, yes. we're coming into agreement Glory with God. God. With God. And I'm making you a blessing yes. so that you can be a blessing. My Lord Jesus. Praise God. That's Amen. Right so that's so so that's 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 our theme Amen. this morning. Glory to is God. coming into mm. agreement yes. with God. If you want Amen. to see your financial prosperity yes. increase. Amen. Yes. If you want your business to mm. increase. Hallelujah. It may not do it overnight because the Bible said in one scripture there in Exodus and it doesn't come to me right now, but he talked he said little by little. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm going to do this little by little. Yes. Glory Praise to God. God. Hallelujah. So if we watch you, the Jesus. little that God does, yes. that little will increase into something big Amen. before we even recognize before it. Before we recognize it. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But we have to come thank into, agreement into agreement with God. Amen. I, I, I thank you for God. that. It just, Jesus, <laughs> that's just, I'm telling you. Amen. And that's Praise true. God. We come into agreement with all of the word of God. Yes. And yes. Uh, people are struggling financially yes. because we're not in agreement with the word of God. Yes. You know, in our tithes and our offerings. Yes. Yes. And look at it as in and sowing, sowing. And, and investing. Yes. If you look at it as an investment That's right. into the kingdom of God, which is really an investment into your future. Yes. It's like yes. I don't have yes. the tithe, I get the tithe. That's Amen. Right. And for God, listen, what a what a great um uh bargain, if I can say it that way. We get a hundred percent, we 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 nah. bring in a hundred percent, and God only <laughs> asks us for ten. ten. Amen. The government wants more than that. That's Glory right. Glory to God. And so that time we get to, we are allowed to, we, we have the opportunity to sow back into the kingdom of God, to invest in the future of ourselves mm -hmm. and invest in the future of others. I tell you, I wouldn't go a day without tithing and giving Amen. and offerings or whatever yes, because yes. he has made some outstanding promises and there is no way I would live the life I'm living right now if I were not in agreement with God's financial system. And you you're absolutely right, Minister. I, 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 I believe it's Luke 6 and 38, I believe, that said give. That's it. Yeah. Give. Give. Now, that's not you necessarily. <laughs> we only read this scripture when it comes to money. That's right. Preachers that's get right. up and read it when they yes. get ready, ready to take an offering. offering. That's right. But that's this right. is not necessarily so an offertory scripture. That. That's this right. Guy, amen. So much this scripture is far Jesus. bigger than Ooh, just yes, offering. Just an offering. <laughs> Ooh, God. Give. You better preach that thing here. <laughs> give yes. and it shall be Glory given. Glory to God. Amen. Yes. Uh, give love. My Lord. Yes. Give peace. Yes. Give joy. Yes. I mean, give mm, compliments. Give and it shall be given unto you. 
you. And listen, wait, yes. wait, before you uh -huh. go too much further. <laughs> you know, we, we we you broke down that shell before. <laughs> the superlative. Yes. Glory yes, to God. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, that's Amen. Right. That means it's going to happen. That's right. There's nothing higher if you Absolutely. If, if I was a good student when that, you taught that. That's lesson. right. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Shell. So so that's what God is saying Hallelujah. to us as we talk about coming into agreement Thank with you, him. Jesus, yes. Amen. Give and it shall, it shall be given. It shall. Absolutely nothing Jesus. can stop it. Mm, mm, now, mm. things will slow Ooh, it down. Jesus. But Hallelujah. nothing can stop mm, the divine mm, mm. promise of that's God so in your life. And that's one of the takeaways. Yes. Uh, uh, one of the pastors that was with me on uh, uh, visiting Elder Evans yes. on Sunday. Glory to he, God. In the message, he said, you know what? Uh, you taught me that today through your message. Yes, sir. What does that mean? Wow. Amen. Praise God. Thank when you, we Jesus. talk about uh, stopping versus slowing down, mm. because I said that, that the enemy cannot stop right. the divine purpose God. of God. That's right. That's right. If that's the case, we wouldn't even have a world. That's true. That's true. We would never have good. Amen. We would always have evil. That's we would true. have yes. always suffering. We would yes, never sir. have prosperity. Yes. If the enemy could stop yes. the divine mm, purpose mm, of God, mm, mm, he good. can slow it down, Jesus, Jesus, but he Jesus. cannot stop it. Jesus. And and the reason that he, it, the only way mm. that he can stop it is you stop. That's it. That's it. The only My way that God. you can fail is Jesus. you stop. Is you stop. Amen. When God, God has made you a divine yes. purpose and he began to look at it, he said, you know, I never thought of it that way. Wow. Wow. Amen. That's you know, good. I'm going to stop saying the devil stopped me. Amen. He slows you stuff. down. Ooh, glory Amen. to God. That's some good stuff right <laughs> he'll, there. He'll try to block things, yes, and he will. My Lord But if Jesus. you stay in Hallelujah. agreement mm, with mm, God, mm, mm, the mm. floodgates will Jesus. open they up. Will open. They and will the open. Bible said in Jeremiah, yes. I think it's 1 and 12, Hallelujah. it said, I'm standing That's watching it. over yes. my word, to perform it. waiting to glory perform to it. God. That's it. All God is wants someone that he can work his word through. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it, watch Amen. It. Yes, Praise sir. God. Yes, sir. And let me just throw Jesus. this at you. Throw it it at was us. not the will of God mm. to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. That's true. Amen. Glory to God. Okay, yes. what you hear? That, Amen. That, 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 anybody preaching Glory that, they're not preaching That's the true right. gospel. Amen. Glory it was to not God. the will of God, and it's, it's right there. Amen. If it was the will of God, yes. he would allow the man to bargain with Hallelujah. him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He would have went on and set it a <laughs> <laughs> in the first place. Glory he would have wanted to set the place of fire. Yes, he would have. Yes, but he would God have. But God was looking for yes. someone Thank you, to Jesus. proclaim his Hallelujah. word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That would go through the mm, streets mm, of Sodom and Gomorrah wow. and get people oh, turned Father. on to God. Help us, but Jesus. there was not one. There was not one. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So there's no use. God, mm. No need of letting sin just continue to wow. manifest itself. Jesus. And there's no one to put it out. That's just like a Jesus. fire. My God. Amen. When a My fire, God. I don't care how big it yes. is, we always call the fire department. That's right. We, because <laughs> I believe is they can put it out. They can put it out. <laughs> we want the, the fire out. The idea that I'm calling the fire yes. department is for the fire department to put it out. To put it out. The reason Jesus. that God Ooh, needs watch ministry, out. Watch out. Watch out. men and women to Jesus. God, that he can mm, send mm, into mm. places Hallelujah. and go into yes, places, sir. is because he <laughs> wants us to go in Ooh. and come out Jesus. with salvation. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. God Thank is not Jesus. about, I did not Hallelujah. come to destroy. That's right. Amen. Glory to God. The devil comes to destroy. To kill, steal, and destroy. So it Glory was to not God. God's will. Amen. To do that. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory but to because God. there was not any righteous there to proclaim what was going on. That's, mm -hmm. that's why I, I just believe you, that what we're standing on today and the yes. verge that we're standing Amen. on in America. Glory as long God. as the righteous Thank cry you, out. Jesus. We're crying out to you, Father. Amen. Glory to God. There is Thank going you, to be the remnant that's that right. would be saved. There is a remnant. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Every time we crowd Thank somebody, you, that word is going in going and in. bringing somebody. It might not be Ooh. one. <laughs> Amen. Sometime yes. with a fire, mm -hmm. and there might be 10 people in the house. Wow. One of them might be saved. Jesus. God is Hallelujah. always going to go in yes, and bring Woo, somebody Jesus. out Hallelujah. through the preaching of the gospel. My God, reason my that God. is so important, yes. minister, Hallelujah. because the word, mm. if it didn't do it, yes. the word would be not a fact. My God, my God, my God. So the Jesus. enemy cannot stop mm. Mm -mm. the plan of God. He cannot stop. He can it. slow Glory it down. This is why it's necessary. 
necessary you, for Jesus. us yes. as believers mm-hmm. to come into agreement yes. with the word of God. Yes, sir. And when you come into agreement yes. with the word of God, mm-hmm. the word tells you already you, what's going to happen. He already does. We Praise know the God. end from the beginning. We Glory know the God. end from we the already beginning. Know. Amen. We already know. We've got a call. Uh, we have someone yes, calling us. All right, let's see who All it right. is. Ooh, glory to God. Good morning. Good morning. This is Pastor Gordon, Minister Rosetta Archer. You are now live, and you can give us your name or just tell us the nature of your call. You're live. Go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, Minister Archer. Praise good God. Morning, this Lord. is our prophetess of the word of truth. It's always yeah. good to yes, hear you. Yes. What's on your mind? What's Hallelujah. the good news? Tell me some good news. Yes. Pastor, I, I'm just encouraged today. You know, I, I, I haven't lost my my affection for the church. I haven't lost my affection and my passion for the things of God. And listening to y'all talking about uh, agreeing with God, you're talking about keeping the covenant and everything. You know, man, that made me want to let the people of God know how they can walk in 100% victory. Mm-hmm. All right, Amen. all right. And you know, that's what we have to go on is our personal testimony. Amen. Glory to All God. All of us Amen. have the testimony yes. whereas that God has brought us through something. And 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 that's not but one way you came out. Mm, I don't mm, care mm. what you have been in <laughs> is that you came in agreement Jesus. with God. With God. Amen. Amen. The Amen. word of God. The word came to where you are. You heard it. You received it. Amen. And you decided, okay, let me try this one. Made that decision. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. So, so, Hallelujah. so you, you, you have anything further you want to uh, tell the, the viewing audience? There's a whole lot of people listening to you right now. You got anything <laughs> to say? Yes, I do. I just want to thank God for the word of truth. Amen. Amen. Where the truth will make you free. It will Amen. Make you free. Yes, In the name it will. of Jesus and Tess, I just thank God for you and First Lady. I thank God for your life. Yes. I thank y'all for y'all dedication. I mm-hmm. thank God that, that you don't mind rolling your sleeves up and, and working with the people of God. I thank God that whatever God gives y'all, y'all don't mind sharing it with us, even uh, teaching us how to be prosperous with God, yes. paying our tithes, being faithful to God, being committed to God, being obedient to God, holding up our leaderships, mm-hmm. hands and arms and everything. It's a church that works. Praise Amen. God. I like That's that. Good. I like that. Tell us, we have some things that are coming on. Since I got you on the line, I'll let you tell us. We have some things that are coming up, two major events that I, I would like for the public to know about that's coming up at the Word of Truth, uh, which is uh, October the 13th. Tell us about that. And then uh, uh, October the 21st, uh, uh, tell us about those two events. Hey, man, on the 13th, we got our annual uh, community Fun Day coming up mm. on Saturday over in our parking lot at the Word of Truth at 7107 Rivard Avenue in Warren, Michigan. We're going to have fun. We're going to introduce ourselves again to the community. We're relaunching our ministry and everything, and we want people to come. We want them to come. We want them to eat. We want them to come. We want them to enjoy themselves. We want them to uh, get to know us. And this is from 9 a.m., the 4 p.m. on that Saturday. Now, now we, we, the, the, we're giving away clothes. We're giving away food. I mean, we're giving away the word of God. Amen. We're giving away prayer. Whatever you need, God's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So our big, our main objective, Minister, on that day is to introduce ourselves again to the community. Yeah, uh, we want people to know what's inside of the church mm-hmm, mm-hmm. can be manifest right. on the outside. Amen. Praise God. Uh, so mm-hmm. we will have some clothing, some food, and we will have some uh, entertainment. We will have some, you know, summer, 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 a little bit of summer, <laughs> summer, you know. So we're yeah. inviting the community Amen. to come Praise and God. share with us there at the Word of Truth at 7107 Rivard. We're on the parking lot and in our fellowship hall during that day. If it's raining on the outside, then we can house about 300 people inside of our <laughs> auditorium there so we're just thanking God that he gives us the opportunity to reach so we're trying to come into agreement with God yes, where he Lord tells to us God. to go yeah. ye into go all ye. the world go, 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 amen go, go praise God I was Lord. listening to uh, a minister uh, and he was saying that uh, he and his wife had had this conversation many times and maybe and I probably had it too unconsciously and he was saying that when they go out to the mall they would say that his wife would say to him, say, you know, there's very few people out here that even speak English. 
So Mm. the point to be made there is God is reaching everybody. Yes, glory God, to God is All bringing, right. every, bringing mm-hmm. the world together. You, the world Jesus. is not divided Hallelujah. like it used to be. Yes. Amen. You have to go to Asia to get some Asians. We have wow. to go to the Philippines to get some Filipinos. We have to go mm-hmm. to Mexico to get some Mexicans. We have to go here. Mm. Uh, we have to go to Africa to get some Africans. You know, Hallelujah. but God is bringing the world together in such a melting pot. Yes, he is. So we yes. have yes. to change our strategy. Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. Strange our strategy so we can reach the world. Amen. You cannot reach the world today by being different. Wow. Amen. Glory to God. The only difference that you need to be is to be espousing Jesus Christ and showing the love of God. As we said earlier in Luke 6 and 30, give. Give. Amen. We we have to learn how to love the the Chaldeans, the Arabs, and and the Africans, and and all of We have to learn how to we love. Do. We do. Amen. Amen. Praise mm-hmm. God. And you know what? Amen. I, I found out that uh-huh. if you talk to people, yes. you'll find out that many of them believe God and love Jesus yes. as well. Yes. I had no yes. idea yes, that do. some of these nationalities, I was like, you you all are Christians in the Middle East? Yes. I had no idea. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. And so being a melting pot, that's a good thing. Yes. Amen. It is. That we it can is. go out and touch other cultures and yes. touch us yes. because yes. we grow and we learn That's and right. as we give mm. we get more insight we get more blessings and we get we can have more territory if we reach Amen. out beyond these four walls of the church building and i think that that's one of the that's things right. that america has to do and what is faced with and i don't think it has grabbed uh, that to its fullest, we're going to have to redefine our cultural wow. attitude. That's good. Amen. Mm. Praise God. It's so fuzzy. Uh, we, we got to Jesus. redefine. Yes. I know that we have to protect our borders. Mm-hmm. I know that we have to protect uh, who, who, what coming in. And, yes. you know, we do that every Sunday morning at the church. Amen. We, that's right. You watch Amen. and pray. That's exactly Amen. So right. that's nothing different. Right. But yet we have to do it with love. Hallelujah. We have to redefine yes. our culture. Cultural yes. aspects. I was Glory listening to, to uh, the, the ch- chief of police in uh, uh, Detroit had to fire this young police officer because of uh, this derogatory statement that he mm. made had only been on the force, uh, uh, not mm. even a year or somewhere like that. Amen. And mm. made such a derogatory statement that they had to fire him immediately. Well, my question becomes this How did he get there in the first place? Yes, yes. Are we really, right. really doing our job? Yes. Amen. Now, this goes back to uh, uh, the president. Whether you like it or not, you have to be able to properly screen yes. people that's going to serve that's your exactly community. Right. That's right. Amen. 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 Not just because they white or black that's or right. they they Middle Eastern or they're Arab or whatever. Right. You're going to have to effectively screen yes. so you'll know what's coming in. Amen. So Glory that's my question: yes. is that how did he get there in the first place? Yes. Amen. God. Praise Amen. God with such racist. Uh, attitude mm, and comments God. that was made Mom. you know so we have to do proper screening so yes. but yet we have to redefine our cultural perspective Jesus. in order so we can rightfully Hallelujah. screen and mm-hmm. and get the right person yes. in the right place the right amen place. so amen. so 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 this is what we're trying to amen. do as we build amen god an army yes amen, amen. that's what we're trying to do right. that's what we're trying, we're trying to, do. to build god, build god an, an army, army. Glory amen to god. so i I want you Thank to join you, us Jesus. on the 13th there at the parking lot at the Word of Truth. Amen. And then uh, uh, let me just rush through this prophecy because I want to get through that on the 13th. On the 21st mm-hmm. is our Family and Friends Day. Amen. All day mm-hmm. we have a special service geared to family. I'm going to be praying Thank for you, families. Yes. Amen. And Hallelujah. I'm at every family. Amen. With children. Yes. Amen. Husband and wives. Amen. amen. You need God and you need the protection That's of God and the presence yes. of God yes. upon your life more than you ever thought you My did. God. You've always needed to the same degree, but <laughs> you didn't true. think it. Amen. But since the world has turned the way it has and we're seeing things now mm-hmm. that we, mm-hmm. we haven't seen before. Amen. In the sense of the degree of it. Yes. Amen. Praise God. So, so join us at the Word of Truth on October the 21st at 4 p.m. in our Family and Friends Day with a special message. Prophet, would you just pray for the community now? Pray for the community. And, And let's pray and believe God. Hallelujah.
Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come this morning. And God, we thanking you just for the theme, the year of turnaround. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes. I pray that everyone will find their way out, Lord God, so they can be in a special prayer, special anointing, Lord mm-hmm. God, in the name of Jesus. Because, Lord, everything we need is in God. It's everything in we need, God, you have, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, so I'm praying, yes. Lord God, that we will begin to respond to you, Lord God. We will begin to hear you. We will begin to accept Hallelujah. your word. Yeah, we will begin to trust you, Lord God. Yeah. We will you, open Jesus. our hearts up to you, Lord God. We will obey you and come into that covenant, Lord God, yeah. that you created for us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. So we can enjoy life. We can enjoy peace. We can enjoy love, Lord God. We can walk together, Lord God. Yes. We can be diverse, Lord God, but we can still be in that one body in yes. the name yeah. of Jesus. Glory so, Father, as pastor and minister, uh, Archer, are going around, Lord God, on the airwaves, Lord, not just them, but the men and women of God, Lord God, preaching and teaching the word of God. Let us continue to be examples, Lord yes, God. Let us you, see what thus saith the Lord yes. in the name of Jesus, the through the anointed Jesus. men and women of God in yes. the name of Jesus. And God, we will be careful, Lord, to give your name to praise. God is going to show, Lord God, it's going to show that we're walking in 100% you, victory Jesus. in the name of Jesus. So God, we thank you for the clarion call on this mm. morning, Lord God. We thank you that ears are opening, that hearts are opening, Lord yes. God, the eyes are opening, Lord God, and that we're receiving what you're saying and we're going to come marching in, dear God, in the name of Jesus, thank we you, pray. Jesus. We thank you for doing it. We call it done call it in done. Jesus' name. Jesus God name. bless you, and we love Amen. you, and thank we you do. for the prophetic words you that so you have much. given, encouragement Hallelujah. that has come. You, Amen. And I look to see you later on in the prayer time. Yes, sir. I love y'all, too. Keep up Amen. the good work. Amen. Thank you. Praise God. Amen. Well, that's that's yeah. where we are. Amen. He was about to say something. Glory I'm sorry. No, I, I, no, yeah, no, amen. No, no, no. I'm, but I'm but good. but let's 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 Thank see if we can. Jesus. I'm going to read this, Ooh, and our lines are open. Anyone else want to call? Thank and you, you have comments uh, on anything that's pressing on your mind that you want to talk about it at this time? Amen. With a flavor of Christ. <laughs> amen. I, I, I I'd like be that. able to. I'd be, I'd, we can hear you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Differences sometimes is good. Mm. Amen. But it's always uh, I'm pushing Jesus. Yes. Amen. That's the numbers that are on your screen is 868-4336 and 868-0351. Amen. And we, we do. We pray for our governmental leaders. Yes, we, we do. We pray for Amen. our president, our Congress, our yes. Senate, our Supreme Court, mm-hmm. our mayor, our city council. We pray for our governor and our legislative body of our local state. We pray because God tells us to Amen. pray for men and women who are in authority. Yes, he does. Sometimes they hold your death part of your destiny in their hand. I don't want them to slow it down. Which is why he told us to pray for Amen. them. Amen. Amen. That, and, and as we continue with that scripture, it says that we may lead a quiet yes. and peaceable, peaceable life, life in all godliness in all... and honesty. Yes. Amen. Yes. So yes. we benefit when That's we right. pray for those that are in leadership. And I tell you, That's I just right. want to digress for a second. Go ahead. You know, it's very disappointing when you get... Uh, People that say they name the name of Christ or are supposed to be believers uh-huh. in God, they say, well, I'm not going to pray for the president. I'm not praying for the government. I'm not praying for the city, the mayor, because they've done this and that. You are, as they say, chopping off your own nose. Because if you obey the scriptures, and we're talking about agreement, the scriptures, God tells us to pray for those that are in leadership and those that are in authority. So then when you decide, I'm not going to agree with God, uh-huh. then your life is not going to be quiet and it's not going to be peaceable. It's just the bottom line. And then, Minister, when Christians act and speak like Mm. that, Mm. known Christians, you are displaying an entity in Christianity that doesn't exist. Wow. Wow. Amen. Which bring a questionable Mm. fact about your true Christianity. That's true. Amen. Amen. Wow, because good. the Bible said, love your enemies. That's what he said. Amen. Amen. Treat them right. Pray for them. And pray so for them. if oh you can't pray yes. for the president of the United States, oh my Lord Jesus. then there's something's wrong with Glory your Christianity. That's so true. Amen. You're showing something in your mm. Christianity that doesn't exist Amen. in Christianity. Amen. It didn't come from the book. <laughs> it did not come from the book. <laughs> Amen. That's we have to come in. If we would come in, can you imagine? Imagine if every Christian today Mm. would just pray for the president. Stop. Amen. At some point that was stopped. 
Jesus. and pray for the president, mm, we mm, will see mm. a change Such in this change. world. Yes, we will. We'll Glory see a change God. in the president. Amen. Because Amen. what the Bible said, I'm in agreement. Mm -hmm. One can chase how many? A thousand. Two can do what? Ten thousand. Now, can you imagine that all and wow. Christians everywhere yes, will just God. begin Thank to bombard you. heaven, Ooh, amen, Jesus. on the behalf Hallelujah. of God's yes. righteousness amen. through the will of the president. Amen. Glory to Congress, God. the Supreme wow. Court, yes. the mayor, the governor, all and all of the officials. Jesus, Rather than saying, I, 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 I can't pray for him. I can't mm, pray. Yes. That, that, that much hate shouldn't be in Jesus. your heart. That amen. much dislike not should not be in your heart. Not as amen. a believer. There, there's nothing in the manual. That's right. The operator's manual. Nothing that like that. That will allow you to do that. Amen. Glory so, to God. So I, I'm just feeling so Hallelujah. good about this minister. I know. Coming into, yes, agreement into agreement with God. I agree. Amen. Agree. Let's, 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 Woo, let me read this, these scriptures into all your right, hearing today. All right, all uh, right. What is that? Uh, Matthew uh, 18. All right. And uh, 18 and maybe 19. Yeah, let's okay. do 18 and 19. All right. Uh -huh. He says, Verily or truly, I say unto you, yes. whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Now, 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 let's go, let's go ahead and finish. Uh -huh. All right. Go ahead, finish. go ahead and finish. Go ahead and finish. I see the thesis <laughs> about to come up. You sure? No, no, go right ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead. Read right. that again and uh, then amen. complete it. Okay. Uh -huh. Listen to Ver what it says. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. Praise God. Amen. Amen. As, as, as we say in the church, may the Lord add a blessing, blessing to, to the, the reading of his, his word. word. Amen. Amen. But look at what it says, whatsoever. Yes. Whatsoever. Now that whatsoever yes. is not a license mm -hmm. for you to try to bind hate. My God. And loose discord, mm. bind malice and jealousy and Jesus. envy. Notice what he said. Jesus. Whatsoever yes. you bind or loose on earth shall mm -hmm. be made in heaven. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. So what is telling me that heaven has to be in agreement yes. with what you're binding and loose. That's now, good. if you know anything about heaven, Jesus. heaven turns on the axis of Jesus. righteousness. My God, my Amen. God. Amen. Nothing ooh, else. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, you know, go, what the Bible told me, whatever I bind, whatever mm -hmm. I loose, mm -hmm. he's going to do it in heaven. No, you cannot. You, He's not talking about unrighteous. He's talking yes. about that which God can agree with. Mm -hmm. So this is mm -hmm. why it is my necessary Lord. for us to come into agreement, agreement. with Glory God. God. Yes, so sir. before you think about binding and loosing, right. amen. Jesus. Jesus. Think about what you're binding. Mm, Think mm, about mm, what mm. you're loosing. Break up because otherwise God has nothing to do with it. Wow. And and watch this now. God would not have anything to do with it. Mm. And what you have done is that you are bound. And you lose something up on yourself Jesus. that you are going to have to deal with. Wow. That God has nothing to do with. My Lord Jesus. If you're buying in hate, mm. if you're buying in malice, if you're mm. buying in sickness, if you're buying in diseases, mm. if you're buying in poverty, Jesus. praise God. That you can't. Uh, well, I wish that they. Uh, I wish that that. Yes. Uh, you wishing stuff on yourself. Uh, on yourself. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. So God is not in agreement with that. Hallelujah. But when you bring your yes. life and your words and your Hallelujah. attitude. Thank you. Into Jesus. agreement with God. Yes. That's what he means here. Mm. Then to touch and agree. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory Hallelujah. To God. Hallelujah. With what God wants, then Jesus. that's what God does. Amen. So let me ask you this. So uh -huh. you, are you trying to say that if uh, there's a, 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 a man that's already married? Yes. It, it, it would not be on the axle of righteousness for you to pray that that become your husband. Exactly. You, you ain't no need you trying to ask God for my wife. Okay. All Amen. Right. She's already married. I see. Amen. Okay. That is not the will of God. Okay. That's covetousness. Got it. Okay. In its, in its, in its superlative degree. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's covetousness. All right. God, God denounces covetousness. Okay. All right. Uh, not all right. only my wife 
or your husband, but 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 my money, your money, okay. your success, my okay. success. All right. God All right. wants you to know that you do not have to live in a state or mind of covetousness okay. because the same God yes. that, that bless you and Jesus. blesses you, mm -hmm. amen, will bless them also. Wow, okay. Amen. I just wanted to bring a little clarity That's because right. sometimes, you know, what we agree on and, yes. and, or think we can agree on is not according to the operators. That's manual. right. So it still has to be on the axle of righteousness. A the axis you know? of righteousness. Wow, glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. What God. Hallelujah. And see, that's how we have to say, there's no evil in God. None. There's whatsoever. no unrighteousness in God. None whatsoever. And when we understand this, mm -hmm. praise God, that then we, it's easy for me to bring myself into agreement wow. with God. okay, that's good. We good. overcome good. Jesus. through agreement. Through agreement. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah, that's we good become right successful. There. We become Yes. Powerful. Yes. Look what God told uh, Joshua. And we mm -hmm. don't have time. Joshua, the first My chapter of Joshua. Yes. He said, now, listen, Joshua. Hallelujah. Uh, they put the book in his hand. Yes. Said, now, I don't want you to turn to Jesus. the right or the left. Yes. Don't worry about their faces. Yes. Yes. Don't yes. worry yes. about trying to get even Ooh, with folks. Or another. You, you just look straight forward. Hallelujah. And God is going to bless you. Wow. You keep your attitude yes. in agreement mm, with God, mm, mm. and you will always get what God wow. got. That's so good. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Praise That's God. Good. And God always has righteousness. Always. Glory to God. Healings, Hallelujah. deliverances, yes. and success. Glory to and God. And God knows how to bring out this Supreme Court. You're, don't worry about this Supreme Court. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Thank Don't you, worry Jesus. about uh, Kavanaugh and Dr. Ford and anybody else that comes <laughs> along. Righteousness is going to prevail. Hallelujah. Amen. The Amen. will of God yes. is going to prevail. In the name and of then Jesus. we always also have to watch this too. Hmm. God will give you what you want. Wow. Wow. Amen. You can keep asking, Jesus. and God will give you what you want. Mm, mm, Amen. Mm. You 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 don't want Kavanaugh, but there's someone worse than Kavanaugh. Well, well, well. <laughs> Amen. Well. If that's your belief that he is too uh, whatever to be on the Supreme Court, mm. then there's someone else. My God, uh, that had a worse attitude than you think he may have. Jesus, Jesus, God. Jesus. The people of Israel right. could not stand God to feed them manna. Wow. They wanted. Meat. We want a king. We wanted meat. So he gave them meat. Yes, he did. So much meat, they burst. They didn't want that. Amen. They, they, they just burst. That's they so met, they ate yes. so much at one time. Amen. So you God. can keep asking God, Jesus. and God will give you what you want. <laughs> He'll just take his hands off. I, and that's say, oh, right. Oh, okay. That's I'll what, take my hand. Right. I'll back up. I'm trying this to help you. This is what you want. I'm trying to help Amen. you. Amen. Because Praise he God. sees in a manner that we don't see. That's right. Glory to God. He's got the inside. All we're looking at is what's on the outside. Amen. And you can fool some of the people some of the time but never God. That's and right. So that's why we have to go on the inside. You just can't look on the outside. That's why. Listen, when when uh, God was about to anoint, amen, and, and uh, Samuel came, he yes. said, bring out the sons. We just talked that's about right. that. All you say is, Are this, is this it? Don't you have that's another right. son? He said, he already told Samuel, don't look at the outward man. Amen. I judge from the inside. Glory to God. I am praying that Hallelujah. the will of God that be done. That the will of done. God be done. Thank you, God's going to look out for his people. Yes. Yeah, Amen. it will slow it down, mm -hmm. but God will be done. Yes, thank Let's you, Let's don't Jesus. get into much of a fight Amen. here. <laughs> now, I'm not endorsing anyone. Right, I don't, right, I don't, right. I'm not endorsing no That's Kavanaugh right. or no Ford yeah, right. or anyone else <laughs> to come. To I'm God. just giving you, you an Jesus. understanding yes. that you need to bring your mm. life in agreement, in with, agreement God. with God. Praise Hallelujah. God. And pray that those senators and those Congress people yes. that you have elected yes. will do the right thing. Praise God. And if they're not doing the right thing is your problem because you elected it. Amen. Let's Glory read the God. next Hallelujah. verse in there. Amen. Amen. Praise God. God. And that's what we have to do. We got an election coming up. Amen. You got to stop electing folks just because you know their name. That's the truth. Just because they have a personality. <laughs> yes. Amen. Just because uh, you are starstruck. Mm. Amen. Praise God. Pray the will of God. Yes. Glory Seek to out God. the candidate. Understand where that's they're coming right. from. Amen. Amen. Get a sit down with them. That's true. 
do. Amen. Praise God. If they want to eat coffee and donut, tell them, let's talk about this Amen. thing. Glory Before God. you go to poll and yes. vote, just because it's a name recognition Amen. or because someone else that has a greater name than the name that you're voting on, yes. Amen. Got called in, get supporting that person, mm -hmm. and then you think it's got to be right. No. Amen. We got to stop this yes. so that we can change our political landscape, Amen, amen in and around us. Glory to Praise God. And God. at least go to the website and look and see Thank what you. they believe and Absolutely. what they stand for. See where they've been and are there any pictures in your community or something. And, 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 and just like we have young people, young voters, yes. uh, our, uh, and young children and uh, young people today, the millennials, they calling them, amen, th that doing a whole lot of stuff that we don't agree with. Then those millennials that are, are registering to vote, they're going to follow that name recognition. That is so true. They amen. don't have no understanding. Right. Just right, because right. that, amen, uh, uh, so and so is running for this, that. Oh, you know, he got right. a good jam exactly. going on. They vote. Yes, my Lord. We got to provide righteous direction. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. All right, let's go, let's, let's go further. Amen. Glory to God. And, and verse 20. Verse 20 says this. For where two or three. Listen, you can make a difference right where yes, you are. Right where you are. What the scripture says that God will manifest. Yes. Hallelujah. Where two or three, what? Are gathered together yes. in my name. There am I in the midst of them. When he talk about his name, his authority, yes. his Amen. power, his will, Amen. his agreement, Glory his commandment. Yes. You, you, you know, if you, his righteousness, mm -hmm. if you are gathered together and your conversation yes. is of a wholesome nature, mm -hmm. God said, I will manifest yes. and bring good out Amen. of it. Amen. Glory to God. My sisters and brothers, Ooh, we to have God. to come into Hallelujah. agreement with God yes. that the will of God may be done mm. on this earth yes. and that we'll see changes that take place. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Say, say, get, let's 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 it look like our Amen. time is it going is all anyway. Gone. Amen. Amen. And one of the translations I just want to say right yes. quick. One of the translations says, "And I will make good." on that that they agree on. Amen. So he's See? in the midst to make good yes. what we agree on. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Amen. Yes. So let's agree with God. Let's make a decision to agree with God this day and forever. Let this day. Yes. Amen. If you want to walk hmm. in divine victory, yes. come into agreement. Amen. Align yourself mm -hmm. in agreement. Yes. That could be evil. Mm. I don't endorse it. Yes. But that could be righteousness, which mm. I endorse. Yes. You can align yourself with evil. Wow. And it will promote itself. Mm. Mm. But I'm encouraging mm. you today yes. to bring your life, yes. bring your attitude, Hallelujah. bring your consciousness yes. into divine alignment divine with alignment. the will of God. Praise Let's God. agree with God. Amen. Listen, my sisters and brothers, our time is gone for this telecast. Join us uh, next Tuesday morning. We are live at 8 a.m. at 7 a.m. until. 8 a.m. Eastern Time, and uh, we might you might be see us in one of our rebroadcasts. If you do, we certainly would love to hear from you. Yes. Write to Pastor Garner, send your correspondence to the Word of Truth at 7107 Rivard Avenue, Warren, Michigan, 48091. The number that's on your screen now, I'm leaving here going to prayer. Praise you God. can call, and if there's a need in your life, mm -hmm. I want to intercede for you at 586-754-9673, or if you're in the neighborhood, if you have time, we'd end there for one hour. You can come and pray with me Amen. and watch with me for one hour today at the <laughs> Word of Truth. Put these dates on your calendar. Don't forget October the 13th mm -hmm. and our family and friend, uh, our uh, outreach community day. day, and then October the 21st at 4 p.m. and our family and friends day. Listen. Anything? Listen, my sisters and brothers, until we catch you again yes. in one or more of these broadcasts, Amen. keep looking unto Jesus who is the author and finish of your face. Listen, let's walk in agreement. Yes. And until then, <laughs> the truth will make you free.